Ladies, gentlemen, and Kryptonians out there, welcome to a bonus video because I didn't think I was going to be uploading today because I plan on playing Cyberpunk 2077. But I thought, hey, I need to give my opinion on this suit because we've got a new Superman suit, as expected, because we knew we were getting one for Superman and Lois. So first of all, before we actually take a deep dive into this suit, I thought I would read out the press release that Warner Brothers sent me, and we've got some comments from Tyler Hecklin himself talking about the suit as well as the designers and uh, if you're wondering why it looks so good more so than your typical CW suit that's because it was made by the same people who made the Titan suits Doom Patrol, uh, they even made the boys suits and uh, just saying. But no really, this, these comments are interesting. I think some of you super fans out there will appreciate it. So Tyler Hecklin who plays Superman slash Clark Kent said, I find that the new suit is representative of the show. Just as the suit is unique and set apart from the ones that preceded it. The story we're telling about Clark and Superman at this point in his life is unique and something we've never seen before. I appreciate the opportunity to wear the suit and the responsibility that comes with it, but it's always interesting when I'm asked how do I I feel about my new suit because I've always felt that the suit doesn't belong to me. It belongs to everyone that finds some kind of meaning in that suit in the symbol on the chest. I just happen to be the one wearing it. I, I come from the world of baseball and a line of coaches that always preached that the name on the front of the jersey is more important than the one on the back. Because when you wear that jersey, it represents not only you, but your entire team and everyone that has ever worn that jersey that came before you. So when I wear the suit, that, that's what it means to me. It represents everything that Superman stands for and has stood for, for almost a century now. And I look forward to carrying on that tradition. It goes on to say in between this, the new Superman suit designed by Laura Jean Shannon and built by her LA based Super Suits team in conjunction with Creative Character Engineering has a classic timeless vibe that both harkens back to the Superman we all grew up with while grounding him and elevating the suit in a modern arena with updated techniques and applications. Shannon said we got Superman into some custom athletic inspired super boots as a jumping off point and focused on a new neckline and cape to maximize the billowing and movement we all love to see in the books and films films that have defined this character for generations. A streamlined muscle structure, an updated paint job, combined with some dynamic design lines and a sculpted armoured belt, all took his established custom fabric into a new direction to solidify the new look for Superman in Superman and Lois. So what do I think of the suit? Well, let's just recap for like 15 seconds what I thought about the old suit. It, it, was, it was okay, but people didn't like, including myself, the absolute bulky cape, you know, attachments, the, the, the Superman crest, all while it looked okay, it, it looked like, you know, when you leave a toy in the sun for too long, it, it gets like the yellow kind of washed out, uh, colors on it because of the, it's like stained by the sun over a long period of time. His symbol looked like that, albeit maybe deliberately so because he's been Superman for a while and it lacks, you know, it lacks some pizzazz that this new suit has, like with the muscle padded protection that this one has got. So you, do you know what I mean? It, it wasn't designed to like, for a long long time they've said that themselves so this new suit really does look super nice now I said in my Superman suit ranking video and <laughs> people pointed out you, you did this too early because of the new Superman suit reveal and I, I guess that's true because I could have ranked this quite high up to be fair and I actually would have because this is really dope and you can tell it clearly has like a new 52 design and from what I aforementioned with their own comments uh, from Tyler Hecklin, Warner Brothers and LJ super suits themselves the main things being like the belt and everything else Obviously, it doesn't have the collar bit from the new 52, but it really is nice. It's got the right colors. It's got the deep saturated Superman crest that I really wanted to see in the new suit. And I think a huge difference is just the muscle padding. It's ever so subtle, but look at the previous suits. Now, not to say that Tyler Hecklin isn't ripped whatsoever because he freaking is, but when that is completely tight up against your skin, or let me put it this way, whenever you see superheroes like even Henry Cavill ripped, but those ab bits there aren't his actual abs. Like they're not actually completely, you know, uh, being etched into and around his skin to form that shape. Like, no, it, it adds that kind of effect onto it with the muscle padding. And beforehand, on the previous suit, it was just on his normal body. Granted, we've had Superman suits like that before with, with like Brandon Ralph and Christopher Reeve. And I guess, you know, it was slightly more enhanced to modern day perspectives, but it just, something wasn't right about it. And here you can just tell 
he looks more Superman-y, like, and, and a lot more cleaner in the proportion of the way that kind of flows throughout the suit and the cape and the belt. It feels seamless. I did say in my Superman ranking video, I didn't actually like the kind of, um, you know, stitchings throughout it so much, and that's still present. But I think what makes up for it is just the overall look again in this new suit that just really makes it, I don't know, just really a lot more cleaner. Uh, another very obvious thing, Yes, we finally got the cape and the freaking uh, neckline. I, 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 I get what they were going for before, but this is just so much more Superman. It really is. Yes, there are cool comic book designs of Superman where they do interesting things around the neck area and the cape area. But what Superman to me is this, this design. It, it, it will always be coming right out of the underbit of the neck. Now, as for the symbol, going back to that again, I wish it maintained the same size as the first suit because they've made it slightly smaller in case you couldn't tell. But other than that, the belt looks really cool. I know I've kind of touched on that because uh, it's like new 52E. The old belt, I, I mentioned this in my ranking video as well. It's like, it's not that I don't like it. It's just it. It doesn't look right once again, but here you can tell how this is like really nice, like really got a nice sheen on it. And the way it just kind of favors the suit and the angles and like the stitchings going throughout it and just really complements the overall aesthetic look to this design. You've also got the slightly different forearm area there, like going right up to the beginning of his hand. So he won't be able to check his watch underneath the suit, if, if you know what I mean. Uh, but no, really, uh, there's not much else to say other than this is really clean. I would expect nothing less from LJ Super Suits team. But also that's not only it. In the, in the press release I'm reading here, it says, stay tuned for our upcoming two shot of Clark Kent and intrepid journalist Lois Lane coming this week. We think you will love that one too. So maybe I'll do another video on that depending on the image. Maybe I would just talk about it on Twitter because it might not warrant like a, such a reveal like, you know, this one it obviously is. So make sure you follow me on Twitter to check out those images as soon as they drop because I, I get them when they drop. So you'll know when it's dropped. Droppy drop drop. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts on this suit down in the comments below. I've already seen some comments saying I don't really see the difference between this one and the other one. But it's just like there is. There is a difference. Like I, I'm sure you've seen in this video with me showing it side by side. Obviously, it's maintaining a similar aesthetic to the previous one. But yeah, this is massively improved. Massively. And, and it's completely appropriate for its own show. Don't forget, everyone, that Superman Lois does premiere on the CW February 23rd at 9 p.m. Pacific time on the CW, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more low updates on things like this, of course, within the DC realm, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.